from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. Back and they will begin things at the 25. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And it is Teddy Bridgewater leading the way in his seventh season out of Louisville. I love just about everything about him. Love his game, love his makeup, love his moxie. One of my favorite words. This guy's a competitor. Gritty, tough, you name it, he's got it. But he did throw an interception in last week's game. That contributed to a loss. And despite the fact he threw three touchdown passes, he's going to be out there redoubling his efforts and trying to play better. On first and 10, Bridgewater. This complete to Henry over the middle. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards the gain there, second down. Seven. The numbers for Hunter Henry from a week ago. Four catches, 52 yards. And that was a nice job there pulling that one in. Now, this is an offense that will certainly spread the ball around a bit, and this is a guy that defenses had better focus on. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, Bridgewater. And he's got his man, that's Landry. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. This is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it to combine 33 yards. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here's a first down throw that's complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 
That third down conversion, good for 23. Really? Really? Did we just see that? That's a big catch. One-handed, I might add, to pick up a first down. I was going to say, on third down for the defense, it's one thing to give up a reception. You just kind of shake your head on a one-handed catch to pick up the first. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. Second and I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. And it's going to be caught for a later touchdown. Steven Sims Jr., his first touchdown on the year. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. This is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere, but you're really out here in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, so you know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. So now the Bills getting ready to go on their first drive. Leading them out, their quarterback in his fourth season from North Carolina, it's Mitchell Trubisky. There's a lot of good to watch in the game last week. He threw four touchdown passes. A little bit of concern throwing the two interceptions. Yeah, the two pick. Yeah, you want the ratio really to be closer to three to one as opposed to the two to one that he had. But it is something to build on. They did get the win, didn't they? Yep. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And this will be played to Will Fuller. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 yards there and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. On the option, Trubisky. Five yards, now it's third and five. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high powered, You've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, gives yourself, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Gun on third down, it's Trubisky. That one complete to Hill. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play pattern. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's coming like clockwork right now for them. Damon Harrison, the one on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Look 
expected to throw on second down. Trubisky, and he's wrapped up. Take it down. Back at the 25. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage. And now it's fourth. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game. But this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. And Lambeau will put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. 25-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes. Things are going to work out in your favor. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The 28-yard line. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the play. Open man is Higgins. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Vegas. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there. There he goes left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jerry Judy, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Raiders add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. All right, because once he took off, what do you mean? Let's face it. That should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. We're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Derrick Henry. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third and two. Now Trubisky. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. And the Bills first Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sensed that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that. Mostert, look, and he drops the ball. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Raheem Mostert, the ball. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. 
On second down, Mostert. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Taken down. That's Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Bills on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Henry. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run. And, boy, they were successful. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. They'll roll him out right. And this one's incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Derek, four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Trubisky now on the keeper, and he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this one is right down the middle. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to six now. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This taken in about four yards deep. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here, Teddy Bridgewater coming back onto the field. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence, does a great deal for your team, gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now Anderson is slow to get up, staying down after that last play. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. First down, Bridgewater. And right side, Henry's got it. He joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. On first down, it's Robinson. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. 
four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. that for a momentum swing you had a goal to go not only do you cough it up but they pick it up and return it all the way for a touchdown and now you have to give oxygen to the entire team because what a letdown that was terrific drive look like you're going to get points instead the other team registers them on the scoreboard josh lambo set to kick off so here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score takes this about five yards deep and no effort to bring this one out it's a touchback at their own 25 yard line there again is the running back as he trots onto the field looking for a bounce back had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction see if he can get back in rhythm and you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good players i did a guy's game in high school where he fumbled three times in the first quarter finished with over 300 yards on the night Later ended up in the NFL. If you got a talented back, give it back to him. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brings up second. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Bridgewater on third and two. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he loses the football a second time. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Take over first and 10. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called, in to the, <laughs> called him in and said, look, you're our guy, okay? We're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. Yeah. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as the season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. The man is Hill. He's got it. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. It's a gain of that looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. On first down, Trubisky. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. At the Raiders' 47-yard line. Again, it's Trubisky. Being chased out left. 
A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards and a first. First down now, but the clock continues to move. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Mostert. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. And you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. A gain of four yards. They keep it with Henry on first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Second and four at the 22-yard line. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this a 39-yard attempt. The kick by Lambeau is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Arizona Cardinals. 27-17, the final, a 10-point margin. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Denver Broncos. 24-21, the final score. In our game, it's been Mitchell Trubisky, who's looked sharp thus far. His guys have the lead as we get you back out to Vegas and rejoin Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Young Way Koo. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here are the Bills to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. Play action. It's Trubisky sliding out of the pocket. And that'll be incomplete. Jared Cook, his Pro Bowl tight end, was the target. And it's second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 24-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Trubisky rolling to his right. And it's held in by Jared Cook. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one covers 29 yards. First down. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. A first down carry for Henry. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Trubisky going to try and run. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. 
They'll run for it. Henry. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. With four yards on the pickup. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it, and it worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter is telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you a great chance to go for it. Personally, if you have those tendencies to be aggressive as a head coach, you kind of like this spot because it gives you the decision to go ahead and go for it when you want to anyway. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 11 more on that one and another first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Here's Mostert. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. Mostert again, the ball carrier. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. On third and goal, Trubisky, pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. And the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, creates a penalty. They'll run with Mostert. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. touchdown Raheem Mostert, his first touchdown of the year. And the Bills will add on to their lead. No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stuffed, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's got, there's got to be casualties at times. Four yards, the pickup, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. Bridgewater on first down. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. That catch good for only a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the gun, Bridgewater. This pass complete to Higgins. The reception good for seven. It's third down. 
in so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things that all kids can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On third down. Sometimes they get out a little wide, and they get detected grabbing some cloth. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. He's going to drop his hunt deep for Robinson. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. They stopped him in his tracks. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the shotgun is Trubisky. They're going deep for Hill. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. Cole brings it in over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brings up Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And on the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Now Trubisky on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. Second down, here's the option. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Decent run, maybe hoping for a little bit more. Does those set up third and manageable? In every play this run, if it's blocked perfectly and executed perfectly, it's set up to go for a touchdown, right? But I like the way you described that one. Just get into a third and manageable. Nice decision-making and took care of the football. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. And that 
is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. They'll run. It's Henry. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Moster, toss left side. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He was brought Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are, because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Moster again, the ball carrier. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong. I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. zone now. They'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll take this one down near the 15. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The Bills on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and nine. Out of the gun, Trubisky. in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards and it's also fourth down now and this one is right down broadway and that will give him a 12 point lead so they settle for just the three but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth without a doubt obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off but it's still eight up time got points so well, it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Yeah, neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. First and ten at the 42-yard line. On first and ten, Bridgewater. Flush to his right. He'll try to his hand. Bridgewater loses the ball. Think about it, Charles. This is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive. Not going to get to the open field very often. Remember, he's 
Not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They go play action with Trubisky. They'll buy some time right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now Trubisky. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Now Trubisky to throw. Flushed out right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. The Bills on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and ten. Yards to go. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Desmond King picks it. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. Following the interception, here's Bridgewater. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And six. Bridgewater. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And a dump off here to Robinson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. fourth quarter that's not the penalty you want not at all and now your discipline comes into question having poise this stage of the game you can't have those kind of plays now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete he was looking for landry that time but it's going to be second down as his old brain remembers when i see five wide receivers on the field as a defender i know the ball's coming out hot they expected it and got there and popped it free Second down throw for Bridgewater. And this complete to him in the middle. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 26. Give them 12 yards that time and a Las Vegas first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Call it a gain of five. And that'll make it a second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 
So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. And he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. To the air again with Bridgewater. And he'll take it into the end zone for the leader. Touchdown. Hunter Henry. His first touchdown on the year. And the Raiders are back within a score. Lining up for the point. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You get a one-score game now. They're probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Trubisky to throw. And going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial it the long way out there, but it'll be third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And yards to go. Now it's Trubisky. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Kevin Huber now. And you wonder, could they possibly think about taking a safety here? Landry Angel footwork. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So now London down on the scoreboard, a minute 15 remaining, and they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. Bridgewater to throw. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. for 20 on the catch and run. He's got it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Until the 19-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Back to throw. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Bridgewater again. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Now Bridgewater will lead the troops up to go for two. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Set to return. Here's Raheem Mostert. And he's 
Bills up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still. You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Las Vegas, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to two and two. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs.